Hi, and thanks for joining me. Hello everyone. We're on our way again. We're going to go and look at Bingley Five Rise. This is the steepest staircase flight in England. It comprises five locks and from memory I think it rises 18 metres. It's on the Leeds and Liverpool Canal so we thought we'd go and have a look. I've never been there before. Sally has been there but she's never seen any boats pass through so it'll be interesting to see what we find. Bingley Five Rise Locks are situated in the Air Valley on the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, which links both cities over a distance of 127 miles or 204 kilometres. It was the first of the Trans Pennine Canals to be started and the last to be completed. It includes 91 locks on the main line. The length and complexity of the route meant that the canal took around 46 years to build at a cost of five times the original budget. Although designed by James Brindley, he declined the post of engineer as he was busy with other projects. Robert Whitworth and his brother started the construction of the canal, but they didn't live to see its completion in 1816. Neither did Brindley, who died in 1772. Sally and I visited the locks twice, but on neither occasion were there any boat movements, either up or down. In the distance is Daymart Mill. This is really something to see. There are no boats coming up at the moment, but we won't be rushing off, so hopefully one will come along. <laughs> like buses, they always come together, don't they? I can, though, show you extracts of a boat moving up the flight, thanks to Gary and Nikki on Narrowboat Chuggabug, who published their ascent on Gary's YouTube channel Gary Captain Phillips. The locks were a major feat of engineering at the time they were designed by John Longbottom and built by local stonemasons from Bingley and Wilsdon in about 1773. They opened on 21st March 1774 and the first boat down the locks took just 28 minutes. Ascending the locks can take about an hour. They have been Grade 1 listed since 9th August 1966 under the list entry of Leeds and Liverpool Canal 5 Rise Locks with Overflow Channel. They are described as having large dressed stone retaining walls with rebates for gates. The first lock has widely splayed sloping walls either side, whilst others have ramped walls to curved platforms, approached up a flight of 15 stone steps to either side. They are the steepest flight of locks in the UK, with a gradient of about 1 in 5, having a rise or fall of 59 feet 2 inches, over a distance of 320 feet. A little way further downstream is Bingley Three Rise, a group of three interconnecting locks which are grade two star listed. The locks are connected as a staircase flight without any intermediate pounds or side ponds. The lock chambers are 14 feet wide the lower gate of each chamber forms the upper gate of the chamber below. Each gate consists of two half gates hinged from opposite sides of the canal. The two halves close in a V-shape pointing upstream 
and water pressure on the uphill side keeps them firmly closed. Once the water level is equal, the gates can be opened and a boat moved to the next chamber. Extensive restorations were carried out in 2004 and 2006 and again in 2012 when new lock gates were fitted. The new gates are made of English green oak and together with a balance beam weigh more than five tonnes. The intermediate and bottom gates are some of the tallest in England. A full-time lock keeper assists boaters through the flight and out of hours they are padlocked. The top lock is also kept locked whilst the lock keeper is elsewhere on the flight. The flight is one of the seven wonders of the waterways as originally compiled in 1955 by Robert Aikman, co-founder of the Inland Waterways Association. There are still no boats in sight it would be wonderful if one came along, either from the top or the bottom end. I'd love to see a boat rise up through here. All five locks must be set before beginning passage. For a journey upwards, the bottom lock must be empty, with all the others full. The reverse is the case for a boat descending. When ascending, the gates close behind the boat and ground paddles open either side to take water from above to fill the chamber, carrying the boat to the same level as the next lock. This process then repeats all the way to the top. When a descending boat enters a lock chamber, the water level rises slightly and the excess overflows via a side channel into an overflow waterfall which runs down the full length of the flight and exits to the right of the bottom lock. The top three locks have paddles fitted to their gates to empty water into the next lock down. Whilst the two lower locks have a vertical board attached to a horizontal ratchet mechanism which I've been advised when operated pull the board open at an angle to allow water to exit. I'm none too clear as to how these are arranged low down. Whilst I was at the bottom of the flight, Sally was at the top, watching a hire boat approach the locks. But being too long to turn around, it had to back up. Sally and Reggie then came down to join me. This bottom gate moves quite easily.
just waiting for a cold drink to appear and some cake. And it's just arrived. Look at that. <laughs> and look at this. Is that my Benoffi cake? Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed that look at Bingley Five Rise. We certainly did. Sally has been there before, but never seen a boat pass through. So we were really hoping that uh, we might have seen one together, <laughs> but it wasn't to be, unfortunately. What I enjoyed was arriving at the top and walking down, because usually you see pictures of the rise from the bottom looking up because that is a natural place to take a photo of the locks because you can't see them in the same way when you look down from the top. So I was delighted to have visited and got the chance to have a mooch around and I hope uh, you enjoyed it too. So that's it for this episode. All that remains for me to say as usual is look after yourselves, your friends and families take the utmost care in whatever you're doing from both of us bye for now take care everyone take care bye <laughs> <laughs>